Minneapolis and Twin Cities in general are incredibly accessible. There's this really amazing balance between a practical lifestyle with a certain level of refinement. You can't get that experience in any other city where people will actually want to talk to you and invite you over, but at the same time, be able to have a similar type of aesthetic experience as you do in like in LA or in New York or in London. I think a lot of times the Midwest is seen as a flyover state, especially creatively. I think that we really work hard to change that mindset. For us, it's like, how do we identify the values of here while helping them become aesthetically, strategically, part of the world conversation. Bodega is a multidisciplinary creative firm. So we do everything from interior design, branding, photography, and styling. The name Bodega really came from the idea of a corner store and a place where you can get all of the things you need for your day and you have human interactions and sort of just like your anchor. We found that a lot of creative agencies like silo every discipline, but then it's hard to scale creativity in that way. That's kind of what we specialize in, how all of those parts come together as a whole. When we first met, we talked about how both of our dreams was to make things with our significant other, how that's the ultimate trust. It allows for a certain depth of work. In the day-to-day, -day, a lot of our time working is spent sitting next to each other, working on our respective kind of parts of the Venn diagram, communicating, especially when those parts overlap. So there's a lot of room for autonomy in terms of each person's expertise. What she does affects what I do, and my ideas can make her ideas better. A lot of the inspiration that we get comes from sort of our opposite aesthetics. Things that Joseph responds to are slightly antagonistic. They're edgier. A lot of the things that I respond to are a little bit more classical. I like beauty. This camera was my grandparents when they lived in France. Now I use it in photo shoots because it's beautiful. Inspiration can come from a lot of different places. It's really just curation, collecting intentionally. This is our mood board for Borderland, which is an ongoing furniture and product development project. I love like old stationery, so I found these in like a Secondhand shop. This is a piece of inspiration that I found that I really love. It's like all these old fabric swatches that are from a trimmings company in Minneapolis. These are definitely inspiration. Our clients are really <laughs> open to me and all of my interesting um, bits and pieces I collect. That kind of collecting, I think, is at the core of how we find inspiration. We're very fortunate to have the clients that we have. Hi. We work with people versus for them, and they understand that. Are you good? Good. 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 How are you guys? Today we're meeting with our clients, Ryan and Sabrina of Otabo. We're going to work through some of our plans for Borderland. We want to treat with furniture, like, yeah. I mean, they're unique, individual, like, fine pieces of art. In the early days of Bodega, we had all of our capabilities listed on our website. And then we started getting all these inquiries that were really boring. I need this one thing and that one thing only and I'm not willing to talk about anything else. But we took all that down and we let our work be the main drive for the website. So then that allowed us to kind of field anything and then be whatever we needed to be for that client. I think it would be worth looking at the pieces behind us to kind of get a feel for the textures. I mean, I like the idea of making a lot of these things a part of our normal lives, right? Right, yeah. yeah. Clients say, I'm not really sure what it is I want from you, but I, I just know I need to have it. You know, here's the goal, but how do we get there? And we actually got to be a part of creating what the solution was versus just being handed, like, the finish line, I guess. Maison Bodega is a 100-year-old building that we are renovating and turning into our live workspace. It's a really good reflection of our process and how we look at projects. 
understanding where something has come from and where it's going at the same time. We've done a lot of work on this house. Yeah, we've taken off old wallpaper, one layer or six layers. We've taken out gnarly old paneling. Yep. <laughs> we've refurbished windows, we've... Jack hammered out four or five inches of concrete downstairs to prep for the terrazzo mix that you designed. The building being from 1920 was a, a creative hub. There's also a women's club and magazine run through here as well. So what we're trying to do is understand where it came from, take that energy and take it forward into the future and make sure everything is done right. With this project specifically, with every detail that we're being really thoughtful and intentional about, we're able to tie all of those up to kind of a bigger overarching concept and idea that's really rooted in stewardship and preservation and that intentionality means a lot. We try and sell big ideas to clients, so then to really sell that through, you have to live that lifestyle as well. So for us, it's like, how big can we go? And let's just go for it, kind of the way we started Bodega. Let's take that risk, because we can only take this risk once, and we're kind of doing that again. Let's go for it, you know?